The Reserve Bank of India surprised the market last week with keeping rates at 6.5% rather than the consensus view of a 25 basis points hike. We think this is a really smart move by the Reserve Bank of India. And uh, you know, one of the things that we were worried about with a, with a potential hike was that the, the economy was starting to falter a little bit in terms of slowing down. So we think that this, uh, this move by the Reserve Bank of India will give that India Inc. just that extra kind of uh, confidence to start their private capex plans going forward. And guess what? We think uh, interest rates globally anyway are going to start falling. So you know, we see maybe the Reserve Bank of India actually reducing rates um, towards the end of this year, this calendar year, uh, possibly around as early as October. So although the Reserve Bank of India talked about you know, possibly kind of looking at hikes in the future if inflation picks up, um, we don't think they will. We think they'll go on pause for at least till October and then start cutting rates. The only thing that concerns us is po possibly the kind of uh, El Nino uh, effect, which could have an impact on, on obviously uh, agriculture going forward. So that's the only real risk because globally interest rates are falling. We think uh, the RBI will be nearer to kind of five, five and a half percent uh, by the end of the fiscal year. So good news. Um, I think Indeering and the markets will rejoice and uh, very positive uh, for, for the banking and uh, non-bank financial companies going forward. Thank you.